So, is it worth buying Chinese fake jerseys anymore? Here I have two almost identical Manchester United jerseys. One of them is real and one of them is fake. But can you tell the difference between the two? Nin explains how to save yourself a crap load of money by buying fake sports jerseys. So as sports fans, we know that if we're to buy jerseys, they're going to cost an arm and a leg. And effectively, they're just glorified t-shirts. So I don't understand why they're so expensive. I know teams have to make money somehow, but come on. I mean, look at the price of these things. And yes, technically, I already made a video about this, like a couple of years ago. And in the couple of years since I last made that video, a lot of stuff has changed, quite literally. Chinese counterfeiters are getting extremely good at what they do. So good, in fact, that most of the time, you can't actually tell the difference anymore. So let's see if you can spot the difference. As I said in the intro, we have two Manchester United shirts from this season, one real or one fake. But which one is which? Let's see if you can spot the difference. Okay, so first impressions, they look virtually identical. The colors are virtually the same. The one on the left has a slightly more orangey hue and the one on the right has a slightly more scarlet hue. But if you to compare them side by side indoors, they look virtually identical. The stitching is about the same for both jerseys. And if you look carefully at the crest, you can see that the one on the left has a thicker crest than the one on the right. But on first impressions, they look virtually identical. The sponsor logos are pretty much identical for both. The embroidery for the Adidas logo, well, the one on the left has a thinner logo than the one on the right. And if you were to look carefully, the print, the iron don prints that they've added to this season's jerseys are actually thicker on the one on the right. A closer look at the material, and they're both pretty much exactly the same pattern, exactly the same smell, they, they look virtually identical. The only other noticeable difference is that the one on the left has a slightly thicker collar and sleeves than the one on the right. But ultimately, if you were to compare these two side by side, there's virtually no difference. So, can you actually spot the difference yourself? And furthermore, can you tell which one is fake? Cue the Japanese music. Okay, time's up. If you said that the one on the left was fake, you'd be wrong because the one on the left is a real one and the one on the right is a Chinese fake. But here's the thing, there's virtually no difference between them anymore. Yes, a few years ago, it would have been brutally obvious to figure out which one is a fake jersey and which one's a real one. But like I said, Chinese counterfeiters are getting so good now that it's almost impossible to tell. The only real difference between them is the price. And I know which price I'd rather pay. That's all well and good, Nin, but you didn't show us the backs of the jerseys. Well, the backs of the shirts currently look like this. Wait. What the f is that? Okay, okay, let me explain why I have this abomination printed on the back of the fake jersey. The story started a few weeks ago when I watched the Manchester United Legends game and David Beckham putting on a Manchester United shirt one last time. And it was freaking awesome. I then decided to buy the shirt and to try and have Beckham number seven printed on the back of it, like, you know, every other fan. So I went to the United Mega Store and I bought the real shirt for, I think it was 65 pounds. I then took it from the Mega Store cashier to the Mega Store printing section to have it printed with David Beckham number seven on the back of it, where they proceeded to tell me, no. What do you mean, no? No, we can't do it. And why not? Apparently, Mr. Beckham has had his name copyrighted. Now, there's just two things wrong with that. Number one, there are companies out there that currently do that. So I'm not entirely sure why Manchester United can't do that. But secondly, they refused to sell me the lettering so that I could do it myself. 
I don't get that. I mean, if people want Beckham number seven on the back of their shirts, they'll get it one way or another, whether you sell the letters or not. So I'm not entirely sure why they decided to have this stance. I know from a legal standpoint, this might put them in hot water. But honestly, how is he ever going to know that I had this printed at the Megastore as opposed to some other company online? The reason why I have this monstrosity printed on the back of this shirt is because this is proof positive that you can have anything printed on the back of a shirt anywhere in the world except Manchester United. I don't understand that. From a legal standpoint, yes, but why would you not sell the letters? Keep your fans happy. So instead, I have the number seven printed on the back of it and I will find the letters somehow. I will have his name on the back of my shirt, whether you like it or not. In hindsight, guys, if I had known that they would have dug their heels in and not printed the word Beckham on the back of my shirt, I just would have bought a fake one because quite frankly, there's no difference. There's virtually no difference between them. And the quality of these things are so good now that you can have anything printed on the back of a shirt and it would cost you about a fifth, possibly even less than that, fully shipped from anywhere in the world to your doorstep. So Nin, would you actually recommend buying these fake shirts now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay then, where do I buy it from? If you do a quick Google search, Manchester United China jersey, Manchester United fake jersey, Manchester United, whatever, you'll be able to find companies that will literally charge you about a fifth, if not less, fully customized, and they will send it to your doorstep. Now, the places I generally go to are here, but I'm sure there are many others out there. And literally, they cost a fraction of what they would cost in an authentic shop. So if you're short on money, you can do. And I recommend that you do because spending full price for them to tell you, no, you can't have the, the name that you want on the back of your shirt is quite frankly insane. But buyer beware. Obviously, the standards in China aren't necessarily as good as where they are made for real. And I actually bought a similar AC Milan shirt where the badges fell off after just one wash. So I'm not saying that this is a perfect solution by all means, but it's a cheaper one. So not only is this video consumer advice for all you sports fans looking to save a bit of money, but it's also a warning shot to these football clubs who think that they can overcharge fans and then proceed to not give them what they want and be complete dicks about it. Fans aren't going to stand for that and you're going to realize that pretty soon that no one's going to be buying your overpriced shirts because they'll be getting it from China at a fifth of the price. It's going to happen. Overall, if you are a sports fan and you want to support your team by wearing their shirt, jersey, etc., and you don't want to pay the extortionate prices, buying them at Chinese counterfeiters, it's, it's a viable option. As you could tell from the test, there's no real difference between the two anymore. So if I were you, I'd save your money and start buying them from China, not your authentic club store. By the way, if you do see me at Old Trafford next season wearing this, feel free to come up to me and say hi. We'll get a beer or something before the game or whatever. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comment section below. But if you do enjoy this kind of video, whereby it's a kind of a little bit more factual as opposed to a little bit more educational, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and make more of these. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, and for all you haters out there who's just going to say things like, Oh, you're a plastic fan. Here's my season ticket. Where's yours, asshole?